we gotta pack again. for a camping trip before. Probably smarter to just bring a backpack, but we'll see if everything can fit in the backpack first. Now I always pack my camera gear first and then my clothes because priorities. That's all I brought. Just kidding. Oh my Jesus. I don't think we brought enough stuff. I think you brought enough stuff <laughs> for sure. Well, good morning, what up, AFAM? We are headed to Outpost. Finally on the way, let's go. You already know my lap desk set up over here. Got the rugged hard drive connected and I brought my mouse. But right now I'm looking for some songs for my Candytopia vlog and we are connected on a hotspot with the cell phone. Me and Windy Roads do not, do not do good together. Blech. Oh, what a babe them. Kitty here for the televisuals. We have arrived, we are in beautiful Camp Navarro for an event called Outpost. For those of you who don't know, Outpost is this event where creators and brands get to network. There's gonna be a various load of activities. I'm gonna play with falcons. You get to climb this like 400 foot redwood tree. You get to play with e-bikes. There's so much more going on. There's open bar, there's serving food. So I'm pretty excited for the weekend. And this is also my first time actually camping out in a tent besides Riot Fest in Denver. I don't think that really counts as camping. First up, the brands had booths set up so you could network and grab some dope swag. I met Caleb Light. Yes, his real last name is Light. Talking about their bicolor Luma noodles. They had white and RGB light ropes as well. See them in action here. They're also waterproof, pretty cool. They had an electric lighter, so you don't have to refill it like you do with Zippos. And that cross plasma got me gadget happy. Another intriguing company was Tentile, who makes suspension tents that make it look like aliens are legit among us. The best part is they plant 18 trees for every tent sold, so you can look dope and help the environment. I spent most of my time on their six person hammock under the Luma Noodles. I just love saying that name. Luma Noodle. If tents aren't really your thing, I also checked out Airstream's Base Camp and Nest. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. How much? Did you see how much? I asked if my Mazda 3 could pull one and he didn't really make it sound promising. Hatchback? How about a Mazda hatchback? <laughs> so I gotta hold off on my Airstream dreams for now. With your beer and Osmo. I met creators like Travis Ruskis, who showed us the life lessons to take away from his rock balancing class. I mean, check out his work. It's insane. I learned about having a happy point where you're pretty much satisfied with your creation. And even just adding one little rock can make it tumble all down. 
we learned that we had to let it go and topple it over. This part was definitely the hardest for me, but is a lesson I'll take with me forever. After talking to everyone I could, I went to bed in my little tent. It was really cozy, even though it was cold outside. It's cozy. All this shit's just piled up in the corner. <laughs> this lantern, we got this battery light. We have this battery pack that also has a light. So many lights, yo. Look at, these are cool though. They were handing these out at the night walk. Oh, it's like the tent gave birth to me. Welcome, welcome to Outpost, day two. Badass. If it flies, it dies. If it runs, it's done. They tend to go for the skull because they want to do is crush the skull and kill and then take them out. Um, number one, birds of prey. So cool. We're going to move on to our next activity, which is archery. You know I love that shit. Should have brought my bow. But yeah, good morning so far. Cheers. lot about poison oak and how freaking crazy dangerous it is and the funny part is well it ain't funny but it's literally everywhere okay I heard horror stories of this girl peeing and wiping her cooch with it just picking the wrong leaf at the wrong time and she got like rashes all up in there after I heard that I'm like okay I'm gonna keep the pants on pants in the boots and just don't get off trail It's cool because there's two hammocks up there, so you just chill, enjoy the view. When I was up there, I was actually like, it doesn't even feel that high. Because once you're up there, you don't really notice the height. As from looking at it from down here, it looks really tall and really high. But yeah, the view's amazing. I also got to check off a few first and bucket list items. Like interacting with falcons, taking pictures of the Milky Way, sleeping under the stars in a tent some things that I've never done before, and I'm really glad I got to do it in this sort of setting. I didn't know what to expect at Outpost, but I did find it to be a good balance. A balance between nature and tech, brands and creators, new activities and familiar, silence and music, business knowledge and fun, even the weather was hot and cold. I left with my creative soul feeling full and refreshed. It was a conference that I've never experienced before and I'm so glad I did. Guys, we're leaving Outpost right now. Hopefully I could come back to more camping adventures like these. Thanks for tuning in. Find me on IG because I post it on the daily. You do you fam, and I'll see you when I see you. Mm, done. Behind the scenes of the behind the scenes. Look at it, we got multiple scenes. Lord. <laughs> Made it all by myself, pretty yeah. proud. Right. A discouraging word. Gimbal. <laughs> Blair Witch for sure. Oh, my camera's right there. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs>